Let's talk about who's watching you. High tech break and enter. Attention, John and Peter. Your home has been hacked. What you need to know to beat the bad guys. This is your marketplace. We're traveling to a small town in southern Ontario to deliver some disturbing news. That's our Prius. Is it? A family who lives here is being watched by the whole world, and they don't know it. Here they are, renovating their front porch. And here again, sharing more intimate moments on the back deck. Captured by their own security cameras and broadcast over the internet for all to see. Anyone can keep an eye on their comings and goings. That's how we've tracked them down, through their license plate. You can even watch on their cameras as we arrive to alert them to what we found. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Are you the homeowner? I am. My name is Magda. I'm with uh, the CBC. Mm -hmm. We're kind of here for a strange reason. It, uh, it has to do with your security cameras. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you realize this, but those cameras are actually broadcasting on the internet. Really? Yeah. So How would you know? That's, that's what brought us here, actually. We want to show you what we found. Really? Yeah, we can show you what's happening right now. Wow. OK. See that right there? And you could just get that. That's right, yeah. This is what's going on right now. What do you think about that? No, I don't like that at all. You had no idea that this was possible? No. How long have you had those cameras up? Six months, maybe. Six months. Yeah. And where did you get them? Uh, through Amazon. I ordered them. You got just them? Just online. Okay. Just, uh, they were just a plug and play system, so it was easy, no wires. Um, everything was wireless through your internet, so. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that anyone could have access to that. In truth, everyone could have access to that. On this website that searches out and shows security cameras that are using default password settings. Toronto, Chatham, Medicine Hat, We've got a house here in Mississauga. Over here, we have one in Vancouver. There are tens of thousands of them streaming from across Canada and around the world. And people don't know that these cameras can be accessed by anybody. The website says it's just trying to expose security issues, but these homeowners are the ones being exposed. Look at this. They're putting together a puzzle. I can almost see... <laughs> wow. Clothes on the chair. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. I can see her. Over the next several weeks, we try to figure out where exactly these people live so we can warn them. And as we search for clues, we find more private moments. By the pool, in the kitchen, even upstairs near their bedrooms. Moments not meant for public viewing. And then one day. So we've been looking for clues, and today we got a hit. You see this right here? This is the first time that we've been able to make out a license plate. By searching the license plate and various websites, we narrow it down to an address. But is it the right one? There's a pole here. You can see the light pole. 
Let's go back to the video and you can see this here, which seems to match the Google Maps street view of this address. We're going to their house. We're going to tell them what we've been seeing and what other people can see. We're heading down the highway days later when we think someone's home. And once again, our arrival is being broadcast over the internet. Hi. Hi. I'm Makta with the CBC. Yes. And um, the reason why I'm here, it has to do with your security cameras. I don't know if you realize this, but those security cameras are actually broadcasting on the internet. No, oh, I didn't know that. The homeowner wants his identity protected, even though his life has already been watched around the world. We're about to show him how. You can see here it's a bit of a delay, but then I'm just going to... Well, that's no good. Let's see, that's us right there. Mm -hmm. And these are your, your cameras. Did you ever think that something like this no. was possible? No. And how, how long have you had these cameras? February. Okay. Can I ask, what, what, why did you think of getting them and setting them up around the home? Well, I have teenage kids. I want to see what's going on in my home. Got it. Especially when I'm away, traveling. So you, you got them for the safety of your family? Yeah. And you never thought something like this would be that anybody could just... No. ...look into your house? No. He struggles to process the information. Steps he's taken for security may actually be causing harm. And what exactly have people seen? When I have a pool, I come in and out and this and that. And you know, if my kids aren't around, I don't need to change or whatever. I just, you know, it's just the privacy's blown already. So I don't know how you make that right. How are you going to have the, the conversation with your family about this? I'm not sure. Not sure. It's quite upsetting and disturbing. Yeah. Not gonna lie. That's the privacy of my own being invaded, right? Mm -hmm. Knowing that these cameras are playing for anyone to watch, if we figured it out, it doesn't take much for anyone else to figure it out. Well, I'll be disconnecting them as soon as I go back in. So how did the privacy of these homeowners get so violated? We do more digging. We have a delivery. Professional video security. This camera system is the same type used by both families. It's sold by a company called O6. Let's get these positioned so we can spy on you while you work. Oh, that just sounds great. <laughs> OK, so what's this one? This one's the bottom right. Setup yeah. is relatively easy. But when it comes to connecting it to the internet, the problem becomes clear. The system does not require you to set a password. The default factory setting password is empty. This means you do not need to fill out a password. Username admin. That means once it goes online, other people could access your cameras too. And there are no warnings. OK, All that's right. the problem. We ask O6 why it doesn't insist on a password, like some other companies do. But they wouldn't answer our questions. More smart home secrets. And testing some of the top brands. Kind of like having the different security cameras so you know what's going on. Will this family pass a home hack attack? Get more Marketplace. Sign up for our weekly newsletter, cbc.ca slash marketplace. This is your Marketplace. Across Canada, homes are being transformed by so-called smart devices that promise to make things more convenient and more secure. It's automated control of everything, 
from our lights and locks to our TVs and temperature. Alexa, set the thermostat to 23. Okay. Alexa, kitchen light on. Okay. In Canada alone, more than 100 million of these devices are now connected to the internet. But there's a downside. Many people don't know how to secure their smart devices, allowing hackers and pranksters to invade their homes and their privacy. What was that? This woman is terrified by the 21st century version of a crank call. Whoever's controlling her camera can also communicate with her. Even little babies fall victim. Traumatized at night by someone who's taken control of the baby monitor. The dark side of this new technology might not occur to most. Yeah, you got one that's of these the nuts. Hmm. Joanna Kenwood and Peter Urima think smart devices are both cool and convenient. I love it. Okay. I think it just makes life so much easier. But they're looking for security too. And that's why I kind of like having the different security cameras so you know what's going on. So they're careful to pick top brands that promise security as a priority. Cameras okay. by Nest and a new lock by Schlage for the front door. It's connected to a central hub made by Wink. All of the devices are controlled by apps on their phones or by their Amazon personal assistant. Thermostat is off. Yeah, I'd want to get more of them, just spread them out a little bit more so we can actually walk throughout the house and have the different ones going. But could devices like these actually make us more vulnerable? We're about to find out. Park, park right here. Yeah, just park this right van here. is carrying three white hat hackers. Arseni, Chris, and Michael work for a company called Scalar. Capture the, uh, the wireless packets. Businesses hire them to test and their security, to find here. weaknesses before the bad guys do. There we go. Joanna and Peter have agreed to let these guys do whatever it takes to hack their home. Okay. It isn't long before they figure out a key component. There we go. There it is, guys. Ooh. Nice. They crack the password to the home's Wi-Fi network. Free Wi-Fi, everyone, now and then discover it's the same password used by Peter to control the thermostat. All right, connected. But to get full control, they decide they need Joanna's password too. Back at headquarters, they create a phishing email. It's a fake designed to trick Joanna into revealing her password. Oh, she has opened it. Oh, message has been opened. If she clicks on the link they sent, they'll be able to control just about every smart device in her house. The waiting game doesn't last long. Oh, here we go. We got credentials. All right, let's test them. Awesome. And just like that, they are ready to hack the home. You can only see us when we want you to. Don't let this happen to you. That's pretty terrifying that they're able to get into to so many devices. How to fight back against a home hack. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Write to us, marketplace at cbc.ca. This is your marketplace. We're inside a home in Oakville, Ontario, filled with smart devices. What is it that you guys like about having these smart devices? Convenience. Uh, just 
some of the simpler things, your hands are full, you need a light on, or? I like the security. I like being at work and having the notifications going off and knowing what's going on at my house while I'm away from it. But outside, three guys in a van who have a point to prove about that security. They're going to try to hack it. So it's good to go. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Let's see what we have in here. Do you guys have a favorite device? That's a good question. I'm gonna say it's probably the inside camera, just so I can see the doggies and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> what's going on? Did you guys see that just now? Action, John and Peter. Your home is being hacked. Well, that's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> Expect that. No, no, not no. the Nest camera. Because <laughs> they usually, you know, they're supposed to be at the top of the line, most secure out there. He just talked to you through that. I know. <laughs> and did you see what was going on behind us? Yeah. It's time to turn off the heat. Check your thermostat. Well, our AC just been put up to 32 degrees. <laughs> 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 so it's going to get hot here. <laughs> so what do you think about that? That's pretty terrifying that they're able to get into to so many devices, especially, I'd say, more so the, the living room camera, I think. Because that's, you know, it's our home. It's the inside. We have child in here. And to know that someone can get into it. Outside in the van, they're not done yet. Things are about to get even more disturbing. As our hackers show some real damage they can do when they target this personal assistant. Alexa, 4K TV. I've added Samsung 4K TV to your shopping list. Now, what if someone could actually do that? Now, I also wonder if they have access to my full Amazon account, which has my credit cards, my bank card. <laughs> Everything's on there. And what if they do? I guess I'm going to be really broke soon. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of money. <laughs> Did you guys? Do you want to see what's going on outside? Have a look at your security camera. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to load up right. Oh, no, there oh, it goes. Offline. Oh. Your camera's offline. Yep. So if I was at work and someone was coming on the property, I would have no idea. You can only see us when we want you to. And this time is now. So he said, you can only see us when we want you to see us. That's so creepy. You said it's creepy. Why? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that's her front door lock. That's her front door lock. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'd say that one's the more troubling of any of them. And unlocking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel unsecure now. <laughs> Hi, I'm just letting myself in. My name is Arseni, and we've just compromised your house. Just Sorry, unlocked guys. your <laughs> yep. your lock and walked in here. No. How are you guys feeling right now? To be honest, a little terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, I'm gonna say, especially if I'm not around, we do have animals and we do care about their well-being. And you know, we don't have the fanciest things, but you know, you just feel invaded. It's your it's your stuff. It's your home. You know, covering up all of her traces. Arseni says his team could have done a lot of damage if they really wanted. You know, like you saw us, we could you know, knock off the camera and come over, open the door, grab a package or whatever and leave. What advice do you have for them? How can they make sure to secure their devices? Right. Well, for one, change your passwords. <laughs> uh, you want to have different passwords for each one of your online accounts. Make sure you use uh, you know, extra secure passwords for critical stuff like your email, or say a Nest camera, because Nest camera is a window into your real life, right? It really is. It is. And you, you want to use two-factor authentication where it's possible. Strong passwords are a must. The longer, the better. At least 16 characters. In fact, try using a password phrase, three or four words that don't mean anything together, but you'll remember. Or use a password manager that generates and remembers passwords for you. As for the makers of smart devices... Did someone log in? Is it a suspicious login? Is it not your home IP address? Arseni would like to see some changes. What can the manufacturers do to make things more secure? The main things that they could implement would be use of two-factor authentication, because, you know, having just a password 
as the only thing that protects your smart home is not enough. Two-factor or two-step authentication is already offered by some companies like Apple and Google. When you log into your account on a new device, they ask for a special code that they send to your phone. Confirmation it's really you and not someone who stole your password. We asked the makers of Peter and Joanna's devices about two-step authentication and why it's not required. Amazon and Nest both say they have that option and encourage people to use it. Schlegg says its lock just took orders from the Wink Hub. And as for Wink, after we share the results of our investigation, it announces a big change. Wink is now taking immediate steps to implement two-factor authentication. Meantime, our homeowners are taking steps too. Those unsecured cameras were quickly unplugged and are no longer open for the world to see. The clock seems to have stopped on that one. And Peter and Joanna, they've learned a thing or two. How are you guys feeling about this? You got these devices because they were cool and convenient. And they were and supposed to be secure. <laughs> Do you feel that way still? Not really. <laughs> uh, I'd probably take the door lock off of the Wi-Fi and just keep it as a keypad. <laughs> Any other changes you would make? Uh, definitely passwords. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would be the first thing after yeah. you guys leave. Everything yeah. is going to get changed. <laughs> Audio is recording. Undercover safety spot check. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's that baby's like nine months old. Kids just don't know that it's not safe. We are seeing injuries that are occurring at speed and force that we would not normally see. I asked her to stand up and that's when she realized she couldn't stand up. We visit trampoline parks across the country. In Ontario, Alberta, Nova Scotia and BC. It's an unregulated industry no one is watching until now. Oh! <gasps>